Today we're going to demonstrate how to put Phoenix Industries AN fittings on braided Teflon hose. Current fuels have chemicals which quickly deteriorate rubber hoses. Teflon will last much longer than rubber. You can test rubber hoses by quickly bending them and if they feel stiff or make a crackling sound, they need to be replaced. This type of hose has a Teflon liner in it and then a double stainless steel braided covering on the outside. These are the components that make up the fittings. You have a socket, a olive or ferrule, and the fitting itself. Uh, we've already cut the hose and uh, a lot of times what will happen depending on how you cut the hose, there will be a small Teflon burr in there. So take a sharp knife and lightly deburr that and remove that. Uh, the first step is to install the socket on the hose and then you need to flare the stainless steel braiding away from the Teflon liner. You can do it in a couple of different ways, one with a screwdriver. The other method is to use the corner of your vise and kind of use it to uh, fray out the hose. This is what the hose should look like once you're done with spreading the braiding. The next step is to install the olive or the ferrule. And you can push it up against the vise to make sure it's seated all the way. And if you look inside, you can see that the Teflon liner is bottomed against the, uh, the ferrule. The next step is then to push the hose onto the fitting and when you, as you're doing that, if you shake it, it'll slide right on. And then you want to slide the socket up to the fitting and tighten it as much as you can by hand. And then tighten it with your wrench till it's snug. And, and you're done.